Hello, this is Bill from Hiragari and welcome to another mini disc mailbag. Today I've got something all the way here from the United Kingdom, which is very, very exciting. This has come from uh, Mike Stania. St I hope I'm saying it right, Mike. Mike Stania off one of the mini disc Facebook groups and he was unloading a lot of uh, gear. I believe I paid pounds for these, which is new and unusual for me. I'm going here now. Oh, oh, a case as well. Well, 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 well. I was not expecting that. Thank you, Mike. Now it's been a couple of months since I paid for these. I know that there's a, at least one player in here, I think, and I think I got remotes as well. Um, oh, this is an MZR40, and it looks like I paid 45 pounds for it, and I've got a remote and I've got this case as well, which I think this is a Nintendo DS case or something or other, but this is actually, oh, oh, I like that. I can fit, you can fit discs in here and oh, well that's gonna get some use. Oh, that's exciting. Thank you for that, Mike. That was a lovely bonus. That is fantastic. Okay, all right, let's, um. Oh. before I get into this player here, I just have to, I just have to get into Oh, this is really good condition as well, too. There's like, so when we're talking about condition of these things, first of all, I'm looking at it, barely scratches or anything on the plastic here. This moves, like the toggle at the top moves really, really well. The buttons um, aren't sticky. The hold switch is, like, it's it's clear. You see here where the strain relief is. The strain relief is, is really quite tidy. No perishing kind of thing around there. And the same thing here, there's no kind of damage around there, contacts look really clean. This is really, this is just worth the price of admission right here. Oh, very excited about, oh, I can see that's my fingerprint there, I think. But still, oh, oh I'm very excited about that. And again, this, look, it matches. I just realized my Beats and Breaks disc matches with this. That's pretty cool, I'm, I'm very excited. But um, let's have a look here. So this is the MZR40. And uh, it is, um, you know, it's it's obviously been used here on the corners. It's got a little bit of wear. It's got a little bit, but that's not, you know, an issue because um, they work. It works. Um, it is a, a straight up battery. Battery compartment is very very clean, not corroded in the battery compartment. The front's plastic on this one, I think. Um, it's not, but a lot of my other units are metal, um, so it's not like the worst thing in the world. But the other thing that I think is really cool is this. So this remote, it's like all about the remotes at the moment, aren't we, Bill? So this is a twisty type, pause, repeat, play mode, display kind of buttons on that side, and then the holders on the other side. So we're just going to plug him in. Well, this is unusual. I'm not going to complain, but this is a bit unusual. So I've purchased this unit, and it's come with this remote. However doesn't actually take, it doesn't actually have a remote. I'm completely, oh well, whatever, that's okay. I've got plenty of units that can use a remote. So I'm going to just get my headphones now. Okay, and we're gonna play. And it's playing fine. There's barely any noise coming out of the unit. If I didn't know that the unit was running because I can see things going and everything, it doesn't make noise like um, a lot of the other units do. Maybe that's because of its age, because it's newer. Let's um, do the trick. Ah, there we go. Just got a little bit of that noise when you skip, but not too bad. So that's actually, that's quite good. Well, let's stop this and um, pop it out. Let's throw in some beats and beats and brakes. Hit play on this one. This is some propeller heads. Very, very happy with this. Like, you can see if I just wiggle this menu toggle here, you can see it just, like, it slops around a little bit, but it's got some give to it. So it's got that nice kind of, it's a bit tactile. So I think that that's by design because um, when you press it, it kind of bounces up again. If anyone's got one of these or had one of these originally, let me know in the comments. But, um, but it's pretty good. I'm very, very happy with this for the price that I paid for it to get these extra. I mean, 
I was a little bit disappointed to find out the remote doesn't actually work with it, but that's okay. Um, I can deal with that because I've got other things that need remote controls. Um, but this is um, this is just a nifty little unit, and I like the fact that it runs on um, regular batteries as well too. So instead of the gum stick, we have to look up the menu and find out whether or not it charges um, off these batteries because that's something which I'm not 100% familiar with. Um, but uh, that's pretty cool. So let's have a look at these remote controls then. Power in. Beats and brakes. I do have more mini discs than this, it's just that I'm in a bit of a breakbeat mode this morning. So let's start with the uh, the blue mini. I just like the styling of this. I have a Blueberry iMac upstairs, which is um, my first Mac, and it's uh, it's from 1999. Um, and it's still sitting on the shelf, and um, occasionally I pull it out and play with it, but it's still there because just there was something about that aesthetic that came out at that point in time. Um, you know, I mean, I know everyone's really, you know, really retro for those um, yellow blown plastic Walkmans and all those kind of things, but um, I mean, these are, this is still a pretty nice aesthetic. So I'm just going to plug in the remote control here. And my remote control is working here. Um, it's telling me what's on my disc. I'm going to just plug the headphones into it. Put my headphones into my ears. Let's have a listen. Okay, so it's playing back well. Let's uh, press the display button. See if I can get this to work, there we go. And it's got the time on there for me. How much of a track elapsed. Track name. All right, uh, let's um, do some volume. So AVLS is your maximum volume setting designed to protect your hearing. Uh, turn my volume down and Got the pause button, go to the next, go forward, the next track. That's great. That's fantastic. Okay, so that remote works, and I'm really happy about that. Unfortunately, the the player that I have that I reckon the styling matches, I'll show you in a moment. Unfortunately, because it's a uh, because it's an Iowa, um, it's not going to be compatible because it's a Sony remote and everything. You know, we've got the horrible bubbles and the blown coloured plastic and just, oh, it's just fantastic. I just really, really like it. So let's fire up this remote. It looks like the same deal. Okay, sound pass through works fine. Pause, play, display, play mode. So I press play mode, I get repeat. Repeat one and shuffle. And currently I've got my Clock time, which is not set. Elapsed track, a bit of faithless. I like, this is nice, this has got this twisty thing for track changes, which is cool. Stop at the end there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I've got two working remotes and a working unit, which is pretty cool. Although <laughs> the, the the remote, the, the, the two remotes, neither of them work with this unit, but that's okay. That's all, that's all good, that's all part of the kit. So thanks, Mike. And thank you for the case as well. That's great. This is um, this is uh, definitely going to be getting um, getting some use uh, on the commute. This uh, MC10L remote, nifty, very very cool blue coloured uh, M22 remote. I've got this MZR410, and then also got this lovely bonus case as well too, which is awesome. I'm really, really excited about that, and I don't have to pull these apart and give them a clean, which is also fantastic. So, um, I, yeah, I hope you can hear the joy and the uh, thrill in my voice, because I am really, really excited about these. Um, uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, check out my other mini disc videos, my other mailbags, and my uh, repair and cleaning videos on the different players that I've got and that I've found and rescued. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more mini disc mailbag general music technology related. Uh, bits and pieces. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.